I'm Sir TapTap. Tap. Is your skull fancy? I certainly hope so. This is Fancy Skulls by Takibo. It's a alpha. It's in alpha, but you can buy it on Indie Game Stand and Humble Bundle if you want. It's uh, it's on Steam Greenlight. There'll be a link to all of the relevant things. You know, website, Steam Greenlight, where you can actually buy the game. In the meantime, yada yada yada. Um, the I was given a review copy or you know key by the developer, so free of charge. So that is why I have it. Full disclosure, I have not played it. Well, I played it for like two seconds to see how the controls worked. So let's load her up. All right, I did make sure to turn on VSync because it was driving me insane. All right, we've got WADs to move here. We've got mouse to look, we've got shoot, pretty standard FPS controls. We've got mouse field to change weapon, change to last weapon. We only have the revolver for right now. Inventory. Oh, neato. Not sure if the rotating map is a good idea, if it's going to make me sick. Possibly both. Um, right mouse, ability. Don't have an ability yet. F to use. So yeah, this is a roguelike. If you don't know what that means, it basically means everything is random. Well, procedurally generated, not random. But, and, uh... Oh. And bad things happen. Those are basically the two parts of being a roguelike. Things are random, and bad things happen, like this thing. Hey, we got a crit, and we, we died. This is also what happens in roguelikes. You die a lot. So basically, roguelike, um, everything's randomly, well, procedurally generated. What that means is, you know, there's a set way everything can grow. Like, you'll notice here there's only one exit. Well, sometimes there's four exits, like there was before. And I guess that's just scenery. I'm guessing the black eggs are always the bad guys, and this thing activates the thing. So yeah, every playthrough is different. It's like, if you've seen Binding of Isaac, it's a lot like that. Like, well, gameplay is nothing like it, but I mean, we get random power-ups each time, random enemies each time, but it's not completely random because it's designed, you know, in some way to be, like, vaguely sane, like Binding of Isaac. Um, you'll notice, you know, certain enemies on certain floors, certain power-ups on certain floors. I'm liking the aesthetic so far. It could just be biased towards the low polyness, though. Oh! I don't know what we got. We got a gear or a coin. We got one yen. That's all, just one. I like how they crumble and stuff. Is that a baddie? Yeah, it's a baddie. I like how the enemies look. This has been compared to... Ow! Um... No, it is a coin. Um... Paranautical Activity, that is another roguelike FPS with a voxel art style rather than this art style, which is more like, you know, low poly, like I said, and sort of impressionisty. Need a key to open that. I guess, whoa, excuse me. I'm. I'm not quite sure if crits are Borderlands-like, or if it's just random numbers. Because it seems like, yeah, it must be Borderlands-style. In Borderlands, they're like critical spots, like headshots in most FPS games. Well, in Borderlands, it's a crit. If you hit, like, the head or whatever other weak spot. I like that the bits stay behind. That's a nice touch. Too many, you know, weird game design mechanics from, you know, limited resources have survived to modern stuff, so, like pickups disappearing and bodies disappearing, even when it isn't strictly necessary, kind of bugs me. That's why I appreciate, you know, in whatever little ways, you know, you counteract that. You'll notice there's no music and stuff. It's, um, the version I have is marked as point, version point four. so there's whole, there's six whole points in there for release, until release, you know, that's a whole lot of points, so... You know, we're not... I'll just open the locked chest with my gun. Excellent. Shotgun. Alrighty. See, so yeah, a lot will change, I'm sure. Um, probably going to be music, of course. And, you know, chance of pretty much everything changing, of course. Alright, I have a map. 
don't have a key for that. Not sure what money is for yet. Well, uh, probably shops. Shops are a common thing in uh, roguelikes. Oh, you reload shell by shell. That's a nice touch. I always like that. Makes shotguns a little bit more different from other guns. In a more realistic way. Of course, there are magazine-loaded shotguns, too. Uh, what you got here? Oh. Oh my. I don't like you. I don't... I don't like you and your explosions, sir. I do not care for that at all. Can I detonate them from a distance? I sure can. Nice! That's reason to keep the revolver around, then. Wow. That's... What? I thought that was the sound for me reloading when I couldn't reload yet. I'm not sure if that is the hurry up you're gonna die sound, or... I'm not sure what kind of sound that was. It's kind of alarming, though. Considering it sounds like an alarm. Eh, no chests, prob- oh. I'm stuck in here anyway. Alright, alright, I'll play your game. That's what I came here to do, play your game. Your witch things and your- why did my gun run out of bullets? I didn't- I didn't think that was a thing. Oh, it's- oh, it sure is. You have limited shells for- Oh, I see. You have different ammo sources and I assume the uh, revolver is infinite. Since that's your base gun. Hmm. Nothing up there. Health. Yeah, don't you beep at me. I'll beep at you. Right into this light. Sometimes it is good to go into the light. Though we're probably gonna die, so maybe it wasn't. But whatever. It's a roguelike. You're gonna die. A lot. That's not how I expected the shop to look. Whatever. Lightning? I kinda want lightning. Hey, you can reset the shot. That's neat. Of course, it's procedurally generated, so everything in the shop is also going to be random. It's a neat touch that you can reset the shop for money, though. So yeah. So yeah, since we have limited ammo, that's good to know, since there'll be, um... Oh, hello. You're, you're pretty ugly. Oh, God. Um, since there's limited ammo for some guns, you're going to want to use your revolver here for some of the weak crap. Also, I think a new feature, I'm not sure if it's this version or a new version, but uh, they added procedural generation, or like procedural shattering to the enemies. You know how the enemies shatter? So like all the enemies would shatter differently. I'm not, I, I think that must be in, because I think they're sh shattering differently, but I, ow, go away. I haven't been paying the most attention because I'm f being shot at and being murdered. Alright. What's your gimmick? Oh, you're just a red version of the other thing. I could use health. You know what? Let's let's buy health with the thing. It'd be ashamed to die this quickly in my second run, now that I sort of know what I'm doing. So let's get a health. And... None of the other stuff is that worth it. Oh wait, we have a key. Was that shells? I think it was. Yeah, it must have been. Oh, I keep expecting that. What? Hey! Maybe they do hatch rent. What the? the, the get away! <sighs> okay. Always make sure you're not getting stuck in a corner. Let's see what we got here. Okay. I was underestimating these guys, because, you know, no ranged attack, but... Apparently you can't walk through enemies in this game, so it's quite bad to get stuck between them. That bell sound when you get a crit is surprisingly satisfying.
Yep, it's definitely Borderlands-style crits, where you aim for the critical spot rather than just random chance. Oh. Which, that's a nice touch for a skill-based game. You know, it... Um, a frustration point with roguelikes can, of course, be the... Well, why the heck not? I, I assume we lost. Um, a frustration point with roguelikes can be that, oh, it's, you know, your success is fairly random, but, so that's why it's important to include, you know, skill-based gameplay, like Binding of Isaac, the aiming and dodging, pretty skill-based, and you gotta know how to use your items well. I assume it's largely the same in this game, too. Um, in other roguelike games, it's more of an issue of how you use your items, like, um, you know, it might be a turn-based game, so the skill it's basically in skill and, you know, knowing what you're doing, rather than, you know, twitch aiming skill, which this game has. And aiming, or, do they say aiming? I, I don't, I don't know how to words right now. Not sure what some of the sound effects mean. Especially the ominous alarm that I assume means I'm running out of time or something. Oh! That means, like, a thing was unlocked. Okay, that's a good sound then. I can, I can deal with that sound. Not sure about the other sound, though. That sound sounds like it might beat you up in a back alley someday. Okay, so chests do not show on the map necessarily. Just a coin. I kinda wanna go into these things on the walls. I don't think you can, though. I like the broken, like, architecture-iness of this thing. Like, I like some of the... The backgrounds are definitely basic, but there's some interesting stuff going on there. Like, I like the wall thingies. I wonder if their weak point is their base or something? Is that everybody? Nope. Yep, sure is. I like how surreal the enemies are. I guess that's the impressionist influence. I'm sorry I jiggle the mouse when I'm talking. I know I do that. Not sure why. But I do! Hello, Mr. Egg. I will kill you soon. What you got for me? Alright, right. So this is what you do in a roguelike, you like slowly bumble your way around until you find out, oh, that's how I'm supposed to do that. And then you do that and you die slightly less this time. Dying slightly less is generally the goal of roguelike games. There's apparently an ending because uh, if you noticed at the um, game start thing, there was something about unlocking some feature when you uh, beat the game. There's usually an ending to these two. See, there's that alarm. I don't know what that's about. I don't see a timer. It would, that looks important there on the map. Do we have Binding of Isaac item rooms? I could go for an item. Right. You need to aim at your base. Not your face. Right at the base. This is a Binding of Isaac, Isaac or item room. A Binding of Isaac Isaac room. What the hell is this? It's a mortar launcher. Well, okay then. Is my ammo limited? Probably is. Just kind of going to assume all non-revolver ammo is limited. But, in order to test that theory, I must use it until it runs out. Um... Sticky bombs. Shoot grenade while it's in. I like the weird upgrades here. It's a neat touch. Yeah, the grenades definitely are things that cost money then. And very expensive. Holy cow. Oh god. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. I like this guy. This guy. I could be friends with this guy. He's barely even trying to kill me. Look at that. That was just honestly a poor effort on his part. But you, Mrs. Like Red, I, I don't want any part of this. 
You... You need... Where's your weak point? Your mouth? Is it that? I knew it. I knew Ow! Okay, you'd be dead by now if I weren't trying to hit your weak point. Alright. Let's do that. See, I like the crumbly. The crumbliness. It's like delicious biscuits, but death. That's exactly what this game is like. Delicious biscuits of death. It's so crumbly and biscuity. I'm hungry now. Are you guys hungry for death? I think this guy is hungry for death. Or lady, possibly. With the, 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 it's got sort of a dressy thing going on. Could be a robe, though. You never know. Not with these low poly types. That's right, I'm biased against the low poly types. What you gonna do about it? Let's open this. Alright, I can't open that. I find myself wishing I were just a slight bit faster, but that may be the doominess that I want. But this game isn't quite... I don't know. I guess I move fast enough in battle, it's just... I f it feels a little slow outside of battle. But I'm not sure I would want to be, like, slipping around like a frickin' ice skating rink in battle just to, you know save my incredible impatience. Whoa. Not sure I walked right into that. Why did I stand still trying to get that crit? I really didn't need it. Oh man, that's an item room box too. I want it now. Okay, I guess after you see the chest, it gets added to the map. Whoa! Yep, the game crashed. It's alpha. No big deal. Um, just thought I would show you the menu here, or the options here. You can change sound volume, mouse sensitivity. You can change the FOV. We're going to leave it at 85. But for those of you who like higher FOV or, you know, um, it's probably not quite enough for a uh, triple monitor setup, but you can raise and lower it if you want, unlike certain Call of Duty games. Um, you can also invert your mouse if you're a weirdo. Um, resolution, standard stuff. I amp up the... oh. Okay, don't, don't, don't touch the anti-aliasing in this version. <laughs> it's, it's fine at 2. 2, two is fine. 32. Oh! Wow, that's gonna be hard. All secrets. Do not pick up any items. I assume all of these required me actually complete the game, so that we're not gonna see any of that. But we're gonna try one more run. One more run. I didn't think it was fair to end the game on a crash. <laughs> There's at least different wall background thingies. What's in you? Just a coin. Oh god. I'm really digging the enemy designs. Oh god. I'm really not digging walking right into plasma energy ball thing over here. I knew you were behind me. I could deal with a dip. Huh? I'm not sure if I want more audio cues or not. Because, I mean, sometimes it seems like it's a little hard to keep track of where things are, but I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Like, sometimes it's surprise is good, like that, um, the witch thing behind that wall there. Other times, like, I like hiding stuff. Hiding stuff is fine, but I don't like randomly backing into, like, oh, by the way, there was a, like, thing shooting massive plasma balls. Like, in that thing. I guess that makes sound, though. Like, those projectiles make sound. These... I guess these do have a bit of warning. I do not like this guy. This guy is a jerk. For exactly that reason. We're gonna die really quick, aren't we? Alright. No fall damage, fortunately. Yep. Yeah, these do have an audio cue, so that's alright. Maybe I just need to get used to all the audio cues. I hope I'm not making anyone motion sick by jerking my mouse around when I'm talking. I'm not sure why I do that. I guess it's just like a surrogate of hand gestures. 
Boink. Uh, Alright. Another one more. Just one last run. Did, did I bump into one of those plasma balls, or...? Yeah. I like the trees. More trippy things, please. I love... I don't know, if you watch too many videos, you probably know I love trippy, surreal crap like that. But I... I do like it, so please do continue making something like that. Oh, goodness, why... Why wasn't I going up? Whatever. Let's keep going. I don't know, I feel the pace is a little slow though. I mean, I guess it's not too bad in battle. Then again, I die with surprising quickness, so maybe I shouldn't wish for that. Maybe that's... Die. Die. Please die. There's a thing. I knew it. I knew there were things. There's always things. Get... You... You just... You just stay right there and think about what you've done. That's right, Parker. Oh, P Parker, I blame that hit on you. Okay. No, stay down. Cat's bugging me. Hello. Kill you. I hope this has trippy music, like a trippy soundtrack, because the, the I love these trees. They're great trees. I want these in my yard right now. Make someone make that happen. Someone kickstart that right now. I want those freaking trees. I I don't want this guy. Do not include this guy in the Kickstarter. I will be upset. All right. This guy, I can handle this guy. Not this guy, though. This guy. I will find some way to remove money from your Kickstarter campaign if this guy is in your Kickstarter campaign. Alright. Yeah, I, I, I do kind of wish there was a run button. I guess that would be a good, um... A good compromise between increasing movement speed and, you know, making combat too difficult to follow. Why wasn't I moving? Okay, okay, one, just one, one more. This is what roguelikes do to you! It's like crack, it's like... If you ever played Binding of Isaac, like... You can do a two hour run and you still, like, well not two hours, but you know... You can do a really long run and then be like, oh, you know what? Just one, just one more. Though that kind of makes me like dying faster because, you know, not as time consuming. I have no idea how long this game is though, because I'm not going to get... This is just a quick look. Um, it's one thing, it's just early access, but uh, it's looking quite cool. I will be very interested to see where this goes. If I do playthroughs that get further than, you know, level 2, if I made it past level 2, I don't think I have. Oh god, this is not a good place! This- no! Screw that corner. I don't even wanna... I don't even wanna talk about what is in that corner. Where'd it go? Ah, okay. Excuse me. There you go. Alright. Let's never talk about the corner again. I find myself internally debating on whether I should really go for the critical hit or not. Ah, man. What was I even... Get, get. He seems to get stuck on the corners of these. Yeah, see? He's getting stuck on that. So hopefully that'll get fixed before a later beta release. There are a lot of different versions of these trees. I really like that. 
could deal with more variation on the textures like the walls and stuff but these trees like I would like to see more of that like just maybe not even just the trees just more I don't know more weirdness you can never have too much weirdness people that tell you that are dead inside they're just dead inside and I wouldn't tell you to make them dead outside too but you know I wouldn't complain I would not complain I'm gonna make this guy dead on the outside too Coin. What do we got here? Pillars! Pillars with trees! Wow, I don't know why I'm so astounded by that, but I am. It made me feel like Doom, like... When playing Doom and like Doom um, mods and stuff, I would just be amazed by like just the stupidest things like... Oh, there's pillars in this room, or oh, whoa, there's stuff on the pillars, like... It seems so mundane, but I don't know, it just seems... I don't know. I guess you'd have to play it to see, but... It would just feel so cool. I definitely feel doomy for some reason while playing this, I'm not sure why. Doom wasn't a... It was a pixely game, not a polygony game. It wasn't very surreal. I mean... Monsters and stuff, but... Not particularly surreal. I mean, I guess there was Inferno and all that stuff, but I don't know. It's just different, okay? It's different. Let's, let's agree to disagree. Oh, some of these are not locked, and some of them are. Ooh, SMG. Need a key. My SMG is not a key. Into the light. All right, we're getting we're getting past level two. I'll be I'll be satisfied when this run ends in my inevitable death. After saying, okay, just one more. Out, like, twice. Oh, wow. Lots of b SMG bullets. Bigger cylinder. Twelve hits in a row. That's that's a lot of hits. I'm, I don't think... Hmm. We're, we're probably going to save that for keys. Are you... Okay, so these boxes have better stuff. Oh. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 excuse me, sir. You just cut that out right now. Probably shouldn't be so stingy with ammo, considering I keep dying, and not because of ammo concerns. I kind of like those guys that they leave, um, they leave something you have to take care of after you end the level. Sort of an interesting thing. Alright, let's buy us a key. If there are two coins in this, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be slightly irate. Oh, it's a mortar thing. All right, all right. Probably reload that. What the? Boop, boop. My mouse is being weird. Hey! D d d d d d don't you take advantage of my mouse being weird? Okay. See, like I was pausing there for the crit, and I really shouldn't be. So I can just continue shooting that guy without real penalty. Oh god. That guy. I don't like that guy. Impulsively reload everything? Everything is above me, I'm sure. Oh man. Yeah, I knew walking up there would be a bad idea. Oh god. Ooh! Right in the eyes. I love the crumbling. I love it. Look at that. That's excellent. I love it. 10 out of 10 to the crumbling. And the physics for the crumbling. The crumble physics. Some of the best crumble physics I've ever seen. Not sure that when the last time I've seen crumble physics, but this is one of them. What you got? What you got? What you got? Live flame. I where to take that? Well, okay then. Oh man, level we're gonna go to a second or a third world. We're moving on up to the east side. 
So I'd actually get a use out of this flame eyeball thing before I die. Free money! Did it always make that sound effect? Fully charged shots do not spend ammo. Holy crap. That Now that sounds good, but... That might get me killed. Yeah, let's stick with the SMG for now. I know how to operate this. It's a bit simpler. Whoa, 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 whoa. New things. New things are scary. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm a Florida voter. New things. No. No. Okay, whoa. Okay. So we've got area of effect explosive dealies. Fireball, go! Fi fire, fireball! Damn it. I said go, fireball, and you just... Well, you didn't go. You got some... Oh, whoa. I already tell you you're gonna be a jerk. Now you're dead. Oh god. Oh god. I don't think we're gonna live past this floor. I like that we're seeing more enemies every floor, though. That's a That's good. That means it's fairly standard, but... Good to see more variety as you go on. Alrighty. Enemies are a bit quiet about dying, though. It's... Still love the trees. Um... Not always easy to just audioly. Whoa. Use more. What? Ah, uh, that's a classic roguelike death. I must have activated the thinger. The men make enemies kill you thinger in the middle of the room. Well, that was fancy skulls. I could definitely deal with seeing some more of that. Um, go ahead and give them a thumbs up on green light if you want, and you can get the version I played already it's uh, currently on sale um, I think it's buy what you want on indie or pay what you want on indie game stand and it's like half not quite half like 40% off on humble bundle um, I'll give you links to all of that stuff in the description so just check those out and definitely looking forward to see how this game shapes up when it's a full release Hoping there'll be some music and some more surreal coolness, because I like surreal coolness. And I give this game a fancy out of skulls.